Hi, I'm Steve Shelton, drummer of Confessor, and today I thought I would play a couple of songs off of our new record, Unraveled, as well as a song off of one of our older releases, and give you an opportunity to check things out from the back seat. I've often found that by watching other drummers from behind when they're playing, you get a much better sense of what it is they're actually doing, and can catch on to some new ideas, things for you to try when you get back to your own drum set. The first song I'm going to play is Hibernation. It's one of the songs off of our new record, and I like this song because there are a lot of there are different segments where I get to do different kinds of things. The intro is something the confessor had never really tried before, and there's some other more structured things like uh, what confessor always did in the past, and it ends a little more loosely, so I can just sit back and play and have a little bit of fun with it. So here we go.
The last song that I'm going to play today is Condemned. It's the title track off of an older release of ours. And of all the songs that we ever did, I've gotten more questions about the drum intro to this song than anything else. So I thought what I would do today would be to go through this pattern from its most primitive form up to that which we ended up recording and just show you how we came up with everything. The part itself consists of predominantly four and five note number clusters. So if the guitar is playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, like that, I'm using the snare on the one note every time, and the bass drums fill out the other notes in the clusters. And I'll play that for you right now slowly with a very simple ride pattern, just to show you how we started off. So that was the first step. The next thing that we did was, or the next thing that I did rather, was to slow that ride pattern down just a little bit so it didn't sound so straight up and so normal like that. So instead of hitting the ride on every other note, I slowed it down to hitting every third note, which actually makes it feel as though the entire part slows down, even though the snare and the bass drum patterns are the same tempo and the same rhythm. And I'll do that for you a couple of times. Once again. So you could see how even though that was the same speed, it feels as though the part has been slowed down a little bit. Now I really like that. I used that three note ride pattern on the other parts of older Confessor songs and New Orleans too. It's a really easy trick. Actually a lot of drummers are doing that. Um, so the next thing that I did to make it a little bit more interesting was to remove every bass drum note that happened to coincide with this new slower ride pattern. I'm still playing the snare in the same place and everything is still the same timing and the same rhythm. I've just now removed a bass drum where it happens to coincide with the ride. So I'll do that a couple of times for you. Now that right there makes the rhythm feel a lot choppier and a lot more awkward, which again I really enjoy. So the last step was to add a bass drum note in between two sequential bass drum notes. <clears throat> so that just makes it a little busier and a little harder for people to catch on to. You know, it's easy to go back and, and show step by step how we got to a certain point, but when you hear the finished pattern, it sounds a lot more involved than it really is. So the secret is out, and now I will have to kill all of you. <clears throat> so I'll play that for you a couple of times. And remember, now I'm adding a bass drum note in between two sequential bass drums. Now the only other thing that we did to this rhythm was to add occasionally a three note cluster to it. Uh, but that's it. Everything is either a four, a five, or a three. I kept that slower ride pattern through the entire thing and every single point at which there were two bass drum notes that were not interrupted by a snare or a ride, I put a bass drum note in between them like I just showed you. And that was it. We stretched the numbers out, the pattern out, and added a few threes and that's how we came up with it. So. Now you know. We're going to try to play Condemned now for you, and that will do it for this section of the DVD. Thanks.
was it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the DVD. I'll see you next time.